Now, luckily, the Nightmare Frontier has a lampen, lampen? <laughs> lantern right here. Welcome to the Nightmare Frontier. Yes, it's very, very weird. That's where we're heading, by the way. And we've got to take the long way around, unfortunately. So, that is the signal for PvP invasion to start. These fine gentlemen are very annoying and extremely damage immune. They also have mouths on the side of their mouths. That's weird. Alright. We've told you about weirdness. We're not having it. So, there is a very quick way. Oh, wonderful. We've been just an invasion. Okay, we might as well stand back and just uh, wait until they come in. Munin. Hello, Munin. You big turd. Ah, there you are, Munin. Are we gonna bow? Are we, do we do this still? Is this a thing? Let's do this. I'm ready. Alright, sir. On guard, I guess. Now, he's got something strange in his left hand. I'm not entirely sure what that is. Sir. Sir, please. Ooh. Slap, slap. He has left health, less health than me to begin with, which is quite useful. Ugh. Okay, this might last a while. Fuck off. Lady Kiko collects taxes even from freaks from other worlds. Did you leave me anything? No. Turd. Okay. Anyway. Small annoyances aside, let's continue. There's another evil gentleman down here that... Oh, come on, give me a break. I've already had one butt to deal with. Now, these guys are damagey, but if we can quickly get them off. Whoa! Unless their best buddy comes from, you know, across the cliff there. Hello, you weird little freaks. Seriously. Ew. Okay. The Nightmare Frontier is a place of fear, terror, and general unpleasantness. And, uh, of course that means we need to head right into the depths of it. She's ringing the bell nearby. Let's go get the bell ringer as soon as possible. Hello, NPC hunter. Yeah, not today, mate. Look, if I just dealt with a human player, you really aren't going to be much of a challenge, are you? <laughs> Let's be fair. Look, I collect taxes from the best of the best. You are either real or not real, and you're a figment of the nightmare imagination. Either way, you're toast, mate. Shove off. Oh, hello. Ooh! Pimp cane fight! I'm up for this. Look, my cane is pimpier than yours. I'll prove it. Butching! Ha <laughs> Ow. Alright, no need for that rudeness. Slappy slap. Yeah, you just don't have the stamina to keep up with my pimp. Okay. The bell ringing woman is around here somewhere. She's in the cave there, as you can see. We need to just feed round and get her. There is no point rushing this. We do not want to end up getting killed in a stupid, ma in a stupid fashion. Which may happen if we sp suddenly sprint around there. Also, yes, those are horrific abominations we did. Ah! Speaking of not rushing things. Come on, you turd basket. I'm ready for you, you overgrown lumpy dog monster fr ah shit 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 ah, oh. no bad Fido well the equivalent of whatever Fido is in this universe hello sinister bell ringing woman no more pvp for me please taxes and nothing but lady Kiko if you please 
Yeah, exactly. Shove off. Two blood vials. Damn. Is there anything remotely interesting in this cave of woe? Except for these dudes. No, this just feeds back to where we were. Also full of rock pelty men of doom, which I do not want to deal with either. As lovely as you are, rock pelty men of doom with strange faces, uh, I'm going to leave you to it just to be weird. Honestly, none of these freaks are even remotely terrifying. What we are going to run into shortly is perhaps the most terrifying thing in uh, video games. Well, I hate it, and uh, we need to get through here reasonably quickly. As you can see, we are poisoning. Because poison lakes are joyous. These things are also pretty terrifying, and I'm just going to move. Luckily, slow poison isn't very dangerous. Although, he is reasonably dangerous. Oh, just keep moving. I just want to run straight past this guy. And I would normally kill him, but there's another one up on the hill, as you see, when I turn around there. And he is a bit more dangerous. Now, is he going to be chasing me? He's chasing me, so he's going to throw rocks. No, good. You still there. Okay, next thing I need. You're not going to be chasing me? No, sedatives. Okay. Now, I'll need these for a certain enemy I really, really don't like. I don't want to run it. There she is. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Sedatives, sedatives, sedatives. Whew. <sighs> Whew. Hello? What are you sour about, evil monstrosity of doom? That you need me blood chunks? That's very nice of you, thank you. I can now upgrade my weapon. Yoink. Those according to the book, are the Winter Lanterns. They scare the living piss out of me. I hate them. It's a gigantic brain eye that is horrible and... Pit of Doom down there. Don't want to go down there. Horrible. There should be a way. There should be a shortcut around here somewhere. Oh, shit. Can okay, hear a second one? Where is it? No doubt there are goodies. They can wait. Open up the shortcut first. Alright chum, you wanna come down here? Alright. Okay, I'll come to you then. Selfish bastard. Yeah, I thought so. Toss her. Oh, shit. Time to activate Oon's shortcut. Excellent. This means we can cut out the terrifying Winter Lanterns and go straight here next time when I inevitably fluff up the fight. Isn't that wonderful? Yay! Yes, it is. Probably good. Now, we need another thing on here now, which is... Uh, the bone marash. Okay. 
all that's left to do is head to the boss. And yes, there are items I've missed and a few bits and goodies around here that I'm not going to cover right now. The area is worth a full explanation, but I don't have the right runes and other piercing that I want to... Um, not runes. Um, whatever they're called. Name escapes me. Things you enchant your items with. You know, glyphs. Those are the things. Anyway, I have those. Alright. Let's say hello to, uh... You know... Uncle Amigdala. Hello. He's not a nice fellow, in case you're curious. But he is, uh, reasonably okay to deal with. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We actually want to slap his leg a bit. Ah. We actually keep behind him like that is not an awful lot you can do. He is big and made of arms though, aren't you? Not this one. Don't you leak garbage at me, mate. He is, however, pretty vulnerable to shotgun shots to the face, like so. Oh. Oh. If you get him to lunge at us, we can take him out quite easily. Ow. Oh shit, that's not good. Ugh, got caught. Oh, my delicious pimp whip did nothing. This is aggravating. We can slap his leg to make him fall over, I believe, as well. Ow. Rude son of a bitch. I do not think I'm going to do this first time, truthfully. He's a bit of a bug at this one. Need to slap his hands, but I'm not getting any good position to do so. Or slap his head, if I get so get close enough. That's what we want to be in front of. Missed him. Now he's going to leak on me. Which is horrible, to say the least. We need him to basically do a crazy ground pound, and then we need to run in and deal with him. But easier said than done. Here's a big arena, which is one of the pluses. Now, dodge, dodge. Okay, now, uh, dodge. Oh shit, I stand back in it. That was unbelievably stupid. Of damage on his head, which I'm sure he'll appreciate. Okay, 
gun. Okay. Nice, do a nice visceral attack. Which I just stuffed up. Wonderful. close when he does that, ironically, which is probably the last place you want to be with a being with four gigantic arms. Ugh, oh, bastard. Still too far out. I promise not doing this intentionally, it's not an easy fight this one. Well, actually, it's... Weirdly, it's not a difficult, not necessarily a difficult fight. It's just a very odd kind of fight. It's just a gigantic being with huge gangly arms, and it's not as difficult as you'd imagine. But it's difficult enough that I've got to pay attention. It's the height and size of this thing that makes it difficult. Oh shit! Now I got too close. Okay, so a little bit of damage. Laser beam. Okay, to move, to move, to move, to move. Now it's gonna strike. To move. Now he rips off his arms and they get even longer. Yep, he uses his arms. Oh, shit. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time.